Hello and welcome everyone! Yeah, today we are going to take a look at the marine monument and how to craft it. And also, because we need it, we will also craft this thing here. So, this will be a whole tutorial on how to obtain the ultimate, or the builder's hammer, as I like to call it, and how to craft this and collect all the materials for it. So, but right now I want to put all my fish down in some boxes. Because we have four types of fish, we will make four different drawers. And I would really recommend to use drawers, because otherwise the villagers will take out your fish out of the chests. Because chests are like, here, take everything, please villagers, it's all yours. <laughs> And drawers are like, no, this is off limits. Thank you. I noticed this, uh, I think, a few months into the Japanese version. So uh, some stuff was just stolen by my villagers. So let's see, we'll put the small one to the left side. I think that those are all the small ones. So first one done. Ah, normally I would like to take the goldfish. As a signal for a small fish. What's that use? Let's use Nemo for this. Ah, little Nemo. So now we have the standard sized ones. So 10 are missing right now in this. Ah, it's in the way. Okay. So now we come to the big ones. I know who some of them are in big ones, but this is the order the game told me. And we will take a koi to show. Mm, for big one... Mm, ah, let's take this one. We have enough of this. This moonfish. Uh, sunfish. I like to give it the wrong name because in German this one is called a moonfish, and I don't th I don't know if the other one is called a sunfish. Hmm. Maybe, but this one is a moonfish, and in English it's a sunfish. Ah, this looks nice. Okay, but now on with the guide. So you want to go to the mountain top? Oh, uh, spoiler alert! Everything I'm going to show you, um, you need to have played through the story. Otherwise, there will be a few spoilers. So, the Harry Hermit is still missing, but we are hearing a voice. So, you want to go down here, and then uh, Lulu and Mara will talk to you, and then you need to destroy this wall here. And there you will be sitting. Oh, you poor guy, how did you get here? Once you have talked to him, he will be very thankful for you to save everyone and stuff like that and so on. <laughs> and he will give you the recipe for the ultimallet. But we still need to craft it. And to craft it, you will need orichalcum. So where do we get orichalcum? I'll show you. So you will need... 3,000 gratitude points to unlock the Defiled Isle. Once you have accumulated enough, we can go there. So we'll just do that. So you may ask, why do we need the ultimallet? We just want to collect some stuff under the sea. Under the sea, under the sea. Um, it's because uh, the clamshell gets destroyed once you hit it with a normal hammer. Ah, oh, ah, oh, there's my build. Surviving. Ah, those were the good times. <laughs> so, on the Defiled Isle, you want to search for Poison Swamp. I won't collect anything yet, because I still want to make a video about it. So, this is like a pre-preview for you guys. <laughs> Not this. Uh, this is too small. Ah, 
over there. Yeah, and this one you can also farm, the Metal King Slime, because uh, he will give you one level up when you defeat him. And he will give you some nice stuff, like his crown. Ah, we'll let him be. So, you want to go into your settings. Go to page 4, and then you want to turn this one off. Sea water through glass, off. So now we just put down some, some glass windows and go into first person view. Now we can look, ah, over there some auricalcum. Over there too. And over there. Maybe some more, we'll see. So, we need to go there. And when you forgot where it is, you can just go into first person view while you're inside the swamp. Then you will see it. There you can see it. And then just collect it. Let me collect it! Ah, I already did. I already had some. <laughs> Leave me alone! I just want to collect your precious ore. So, one was also over here somewhere. There, you can see it. So, we got three pieces now, which we will need for this hammer. Let's see if there are still some more. Oh uh, no, that were all of them. So, let's go back. Ah, romantic. All those girls going full on Malroth. <laughs> yeah, now you can craft your ulti mallet. Maybe you are like me and you want to skip using up precious materials, then you can just do it this way. Go with the cursor above the ultimallet, put down a wardrobe and store the oracalcum in there. Place down a bomb, three blocks away, or two blocks away, so it's still inside the radius. And then you can build it without using up precious oracalcum. I don't know if I want to craft it, I don't know. Can I destroy it? Not that I have two. Ah, we'll see. And there you got your ultimallet for free. Almost for free. You can also put down the other stuff inside, but... <laughs> gold and silver or what it was. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so, put away one. And delete. Oh, oh, <laughs> poor mallet. <laughs> Oil, potato, and fish. Oil, potato, and fish. So, but before we go to the underwater island, you want to craft some food. You'll see why. So, take out a fish, which you have enough of. I have uh, enough mackerel. Maybe you too. Just some standard fish like mackerel, lemon tail. I think goldfish you can't cook. Or maybe salmon, trout, something like this. So you want some fish, some potatoes, and some oil. Let's see what we'll get. Huh? I already knew the recipe. Hmm. Maybe it's unlocked because of the DLC. So, fish and ships. Effect. The effect is the important part. Because it will give you underwater breathing and it will give you a movement speed up underwater. So now we want to go to the ship captain. And if you haven't already, you need to unlock the Coral K island, which is this one. Now we need to unlock it. And after we unlocked it, you will notice nothing happens. So just go out of the menu and go back in. Ah, see? Now we get the Gurgling Lagoon. That's where we want to go. Let the adventure begin! Ah, so this is like a little Material Island video. <laughs> 
stupid button. I pressed you. Ah, we made it. Barely. So, let's jump into water. So, what do we need? Okay, we need wood. We should have unlimited. Corals, pillar coral, clamshell, basalt blob and animal. So, those are like everywhere. Those shouldn't be hard to find. Pillar coral. So now we want to eat that stuff. Ah, now we can move underwater like we can above water. So the anemone you'll find it the one that's like not colored. It's this one. If it isn't for you somewhere right around the corner, you need to take a look around, but you will find it. There should be plenty of it. I think there's a different color. The pink one. And of course we also need the clam. Here you'll see what happens when you use the different hammer. It just turns to stone. Ah, Madusa would be proud. Oh, look how fast I can swim. Woo. So, let's take one of those sea clams. Or clam shells. And we want to take a look for red corals. And for this basil blobs. So, I must say, the red corals are the hardest to find. Ah, I think over there is one. And you will have those clumps. Where, like, everything underwater is right at one spot. And there you will find the basil blob. Every time. Oh, come on. We collect it. And the coral, too. So, over here, you got it, too. So, just look for those little hills underwater. And you'll find plenty of it. Let's see where else it is. If you are on a material island where it is difficult to find, then just go off the island and come back in again. Then it should be easier. Ah, and there's one more. Ah, and here's also a clump of red corals. My food! <laughs> it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> so it's only like for one or two minutes. But yeah, I think this should help you a bit to find everything you need. There you can also see there's one other little hill. And there too. There's also red coral. So let's go back and craft the monument. So, go over here, go to the decorative items, and there you will find it. So, just imagine me building it, <laughs> I already got it, <laughs> but you should have everything now that you need for it. And yeah, I think that's it. That's how you get the ultimate and the marine monument. So, I hope this was helpful for you. If so, please consider giving it a like. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, morning or evening. Have a good night. Nighty night. Uh -uh. Bye. Yay! I got a marine monument. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so let's put it here. Oh wait, which direction should it face? Maybe this one? Hmm. Or this? Hmm, maybe. What is this? No. This. Perfect.